How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Jeff, a.k.a. Sound Mar on the PlayStation Network, and I'm here with Kyle once more. Yep, and we're here to talk about some Nintendo stuff that we saw at E3. Yeah, and basically, I mean, it's... We didn't see a lot. I mean, <laughs> we said that in our prediction video, you know, um, and we mentioned that, that really they weren't going to have a presence at E3. Um, they're just going to do their treehouse thing again because they'll show everything else off that they want to at Direct, which probably will be in September. Um, really what they showed off was some Pokemon stuff in some regard, but not a lot. They showed off some Amiibos and things like that, but really the big thing they showed off was Zelda, some gameplay, the reveal trailer. Um, so Kyle, you saw it. Yeah, I did. Uh, Thoughts? So one thing that really stuck out to me is the whole like weaponry thing. Yeah. Like how you can, in Wind Waker, you could pick up weapons, mm -hmm. but there weren't that many. But it was, yeah, but it was, it was like, really well, like, fun. It was really fun to pick up, well, like, those you had, pig weapons and stuff. Yeah, because you had your sword, and then there was, what, like, four or five different weapons you could pick up? Yeah, and there was, again. like, a club. I think there was a club. Uh, mm -hmm. It was, like, a sword. There was, like, a club, a sword. A machete kind of thing. Yeah, like, a weird sword. A and club, then a big a staff. Spear. Oh, and then a huge, like, great sword that this these, like, yeah, knights had. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you had to, like, you... Uh, Link would have a lot of problems. Yeah. Like, like you like, run with it. But, yeah, he could chuck them, like, mm -hmm. two... Two football when fields. you landed it, <laughs> when you landed the hit, it would do shit. Ton of yeah, damage. um, but like what, what I'm saying about the weaponry thing is that you can get a bow really fast. Yeah. And in, well, I'm wondering like, if that's like the demo thing though. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. But I have no there's a lot of things that I saw from the from, from the what trailer like when I played any Zelda game, when you got a bow, it was a big deal. You well, know? And usually it's you a got a bow. What, six hours in? About? Um, I mean, that's about... Five hours in? That's Zelda. I mean, that's Ocarina of Time and probably Majora's Mask. Yeah. Apparently, in the newer ones, you get it in, like, the first two dungeons or something. Okay, but, I mean, it still takes a little bit. This one seemed like yeah. you got pretty much almost right off the bat. Yes, you can get a bow right off the bat. Um, but apparently, there are different kinds of bows. There are, yeah. There are different... There are different... There are a bunch of different weapons. Yeah, bunch of different weapons. It's kind of like uh, it's becoming more RPG-ish. Yeah, and it kind of reminded me a little bit of Dark Souls. Honestly, like there's so many weapons, like that, yeah, uh, you can pick up and have and. Uh, well, and plus, there's like it seems like there's new armor and different like, and obviously, I mean that's a thing that's been in the Zelda game anyway. Like you change clothes as Link. Like you, what in Ocarina he had the red outfit, the green, red, green, blue. blue. Yeah. Uh, for this one, it, it, it seemed like, yeah, he wore blue for the most part and a bunch of a co different uh, colored outfits. But then he, I noticed he started wearing armor. Like, he had armor outfits on top during the trailer when he fought certain enemies. Like, it had, like, armored ge uh, like bracers and chest plate and everything like that. And it seemed really interesting. It seemed more like a warrior link. Um, yeah, I'm wondering, in the timeline, I haven't looked at the timeline, like, I think... They might have released when this is supposed to take place. If I had to take a guess, this would take place probably after, uh... Just from how the game looks, for whatever reason, I'm getting, like, a follow-up to Wind Waker. I don't mm. know why, but, I mean, it just it makes sense because the intro cinematic with that freaking sarcophagus thing and everything and how Wind Waker was, like, aesthetically and just vibe-wise a lot different. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I, just, I feel like this one is significantly different in vibe versus all the other ones. Um... I also thought it was weird that in the the gameplay in the trailer they showed that you can basically capture a horse at a point and like break it and make it your own for the time being, and that to me signifies that Epona isn't in this one. Epona, like I I don't know where she is. Um, and you also. So, yeah, and it's just it's, a, it's an interesting thing to consider. I mean, there's a lot of weirdness to the game. It looks great. It, it does. Looks fun. It looks I mean, it fun. looks. I mean, it, like it looks like yeah. a great Zelda game. It looks like it's. Not to say that Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword are bad, but I mean, it looks more true to form in terms of it's kind of going in a better direction. Because those two games, while I like them, weren't nearly as good as what came before. This has the opportunity to possibly be a lot better. Um, hopefully, but. I am curious, though, as to, you know, you, you brought up the music thing. 
how there's no music. Yeah, there's no like music out when you're out and about. You know, it's like, where's my running through high rule? You know, <laughs> music. You know, yeah, there was like, a. What is going on? Yeah, and so... I thought that was weird that there wasn't really like any things. Which maybe that's maybe, like a, maybe there's stuff in dungeons. I don't know. I would assume. Yeah, but it's just it was so odd seeing Link and just no music. Yeah, and like he you know, had a musical instrument during the gameplay from Mario. Also, yeah, either. there's like um, no harp, so no flute, weird. no baton, nothing like that. So I'm wondering if that's like something that, for the time being, is being held off on what music instrument he's using. But if they don't yeah. have it in this game. That's kind of odd. Yeah, um, because. From every main knowledge. entry, yeah. For every main entry, as far as I understand, has a musical instrument. Like in terms of like councils, I don't know about the Game Boy ones, but as far as I understand, almost all of them, if not all of them, have a music instrument. Yeah, honestly, and it's a really cool part of the game. It's very, yep. like, it's just that's what Zelda, a big part of Zelda was. I mean, just this whole instrument that helped you travel that helped you uh complete puzzles complete puzzles helped you call friends you know call yep. epona yep. helped you it's just a big part of the game that i mean cry six it was one of the biggest parts of ocarina of time yeah and yes i mean it's like and majora so i mean yeah. it's just the th and yeah. oh yeah and it's weird just thinking of and also the i'm thinking i always i think about the baton and mm -hmm. Wind Waker. Wind Waker? Yeah. yeah, which was personally my favorite instrument. It was yeah. just so it was very cool and it was just it was different. Know. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of music. I really stuff. hope there is a musical instrument because that's just a part of Zelda. When mm -hmm. I think Zelda, I think Link, of course. Mm -hmm. I think uh, of a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think of Hyrule. Yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah. And well, I'm even wondering if this is actually Hyrule with her. I saw Cause Temple, it looks really there's different. a Temple of Time that I yeah, saw. It looked like it, but it looked really old. And yeah. We also obviously saw the Master Sword, which is aged significantly. Yeah. It looks like it hasn't even been touched, so I'm wondering if this is even a new link. Like, yeah. I wonder if this is like a fourth timeline that they're establishing. Yeah, we don't, don't know, know where this comes in the timeline. I yeah, honestly I don't, don't know. know a big part of the timeline. Of I, I know that it splits into three Wind Waker's, like, one chunk of the timeline where I think Link died. No. Uh, maybe when he dies. or No, he... Uh, yeah, it's something like that. Like, I know that's one big chunk, Majora's another chunk, and Ocarina's a different chunk. And they all follow different paths, I think. If I remember correctly. And I know that the old Zeldas are supposed to be, like, a different timeline from the newer Zeldas. Like, they're supposed to follow, like, the successor to the Link. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, the current ones are the original Link. I know that, I think Twilight Princess, if I remember right, the guy that you're supposed to spar with, the skeleton, is rumored, you know, and has always been thought to be Link. I can't remember if that's been proven or not. Um, I don't know. I, I'm very curious about it. The mechanics they've added, uh, you know, it being open world looks great, and it looks like it runs really well, but we ain't see very much of it, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, which, again, Nintendo Direct, but that didn't... Honestly, that Nintendo Direct better be like two hours because they they have a lot. <laughs> Seriously, I mean they have they a lot really to do, do because we'll get into it. But Sony and Xbox fucking killed it, and I think it was for the best. Now in retrospect, that so that Nintendo kind of backed out E three to avoid both these guys because they both destroyed E three completely. But at the same time, it's one of those things where they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to step up to the plate with a lot to show that they're still relevant. Um, but no, I think Zelda looks really good uh i am worried about it a little bit but i'm curious i think I and i think a lot of people are worried about it and stuff of course there's people that just it's, want everything out well of it, so yeah some people love it way too much and think nothing bad will happen some people are the complete negative. anyway thank you guys very much for joining us with this episode of uh reaction to nintendo treehouse thank you very much for joining hit the like button subscribe button and i'll see you guys later peace